Test number two. We have it mounted on the machine right now. And we have the hose set up. As you can see, that little wire right here that we have a jumper on is designed for the door. When the door is shut, it allows the machine to come on. So we're running a jumper for test. This is not recommended for people to bypass, but for our test purposes to prove our flashback arrestor works, we're jumping it. And you can see we have it in an enclosure for safety reasons. And we have the rubber caps on it. Now it's time for test number two on the machine. Alright, test number two. We're going to show that there's gas flow coming out. Now this is flashback on the machine. First time trying it. Manufacturer flashback would not do this. This is an open hose. The only thing between that machine blowing up is that flashback arrestor. Two successful tests. This testing was brought to you by Peter again from hhogasinfo.com. A person not afraid to do testing to prove his point of safety. Safety is number one. Like I said in the videos in the past, you could have a quality machine like this one. But if you don't have a successful flashback arrestor, you're endangering yourself. And if it's used for business, the employees around it. Like I said before, to other people in emails, the manufacturer where I buy this machine from manufactures machines from 300 liters per hour all the way up to 10 thousand liters per hour and importance of having a safety device like a flashback arrestor is important I will be making arrangements with the manufacturer to retail these machines now since I feel safe with my flashback arrestor instead of me using um, shot blast I'm going to be looking for stainless steel small little bearings the little ball bearings to take the place of the 
shot blast copper coated because of oxidation that could happen to the copper so like I said in a lot of my videos oxidation is important not to have happening in any of the devices so I'm going to be going with stainless steel inside the unit inside this flashback arrestor that right there is using electrical tape to hold it on and it was running on demand because if I pressurized it those rubber caps on top were not clamped down in any way they were just slightly pressured on top of the screw that holds the cap if I pressurized it they would pop off and if I clamped them on that rubber is not designed to handle high pressure and it would blow a hole right in the rubber caps they're not designed to handle any severe pressure they're not nylon enforced and they would stretch like a balloon and pop so that's the reason why we were not running it under pressure if anybody is thinking why we're not running it with pressure is because we don't have a second set of caps plastic caps for the machine so we don't want to take a chance of it blowing the caps off but we feel certain that it will not blow up with our homemade flashback arrestor anybody interested in purchasing this machine or the other machines I talked about from 300 liters per hour to 10,000 liters send us an email and we will get back with you on the shipment date when you can receive them we're also going to be doing a test right now in a few minutes on the manufacturer flashback arrestor and you will be able to see what happens with the flashback arrestor that does not work so we're going to pause the camera and return with the manufacturer flashback arrestor mounted on the machine we are ready to do our test on the manufacturer flashback arrestor this flashback arrestor has some resistance so we had to put the clamps on the rubber tops because we are getting air leaks around the tops of these caps these rubber caps we put on there's some resistance that does not allow real real low pressure to escape from the hose so we had to put the clamps on so we have a little bit of pressure coming out now we're going to do a test and I'm going to demonstrate we are getting gas out right now I'm going to turn it on 